we may never speak of this again. And I hope you never hold it against me that we did. But I would be an awful father if I felt like at some point you wanted to discuss this with me and you thought the door was closed or at least not sufficiently open. I love you. I will always be here for you. Son, I have been dreaming about this since the day you were born. Really? Since the day I was born, you've been waiting to take me to a strip club? This is it. My dad brought me here, his dad brought him. This magical place is the gateway to manhood. You've been to Hooters before, right? Psh, Hooters is for amateurs. This place, this is the big time. This is the big show. There'll be no canceling Dave Miller here. Calm down, Dad. You're kind of freaking me out. Oh my gosh. Okay, here. I want you to have this. Go ahead. Take it. Yeah. Oh, goody. A whole dollar. Thanks. Are you crying right now? No. No, I'm not. Uh, okay, this is gross. I'm calling Mom. No, don't call I your mom. I am begging you not to take the stand. You could lose everything. Why? Because of the press? I can't risk it. Look, I get it, but I'm gonna take the stand. Lieutenant Chambers was down when I arrived. I had a split second decision to make in that room. They were gonna take the girl. I took my shot and Abby's alive because I did and I would do it again. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Hi there, the Connors, right? I'm Clara Samson, yeah. do you have a second? Sure. Well look, I'm here with Jim and Lori Connor. They're neighbors of Sarah Drago. Um, have you noticed any unusual behavior that you've been seeing? Since her husband disappeared, there's been all kinds of crazy stuff going on next door. I mean, a little strength. I don't know, do you ever speak to her or maybe ask her who she's speaking to? Well, uh, occasionally we would talk to her, ask about the weather and such, but we would never ask her who she was talking to. The weather? Yeah, you know, pleasantries and such. Lori won't ever let me ask who she's actually talking to. I mean, you know it's something good like a ghost or an alien or something. You don't just talk to thin air. Well, there you have it, folks, thin air. Just remember, you heard it here first. This is Clara Sampside signing off. Until next time, bye.